gives me great pleasure to introduce our honorary degree recipient, Inu Ellums MBE, to whom we award an honorary doctorate. Inu Ellums is a poet, playwright and performer, graphic artist and designer. He's a Complete Works Poet alumni and facilitates workshops in creative writing where he explores recurring themes in his work, identity, displacement and destiny in accessible, enjoyable ways for participants of all ages and backgrounds. Born in Nigeria, Inua has always had an artistic soul. Encouraged by his parents, Inua nurtured his passion for art and for learning throughout his schooling days. While he did not pursue higher education, he instead chose to home in on his craft and to this day continues to create spaces as a playwright and artist which explore identity and representation. His choice to pursue his passion has led to an award-winning career as a multidisciplinary artist. The awards include the Edinburgh Fringe First Award 2009, the Liberty Human Rights Award, a Black British Theatre Award and many more. Inua was also recently awarded an MBE for his contribution to the arts. Inua has been commissioned by Royal Shakespeare Company, National Theatre, Tate Modern, Louis Vuitton and BBC Radio and Television. His writing can be seen in, in his published poetry books, Candy Coated Unicorn and Converse All Stars, The Wire-Headed Heathen and more. His written work also includes his plays, Black T-Shirt Collection, The Fourteenth Tale, Barbershop Chronicles and Three Sisters. In addition to having many of his own works published, Inua has also founded multiple collectives which celebrate poetry, film and music, including The Midnight Run, The Rap Party and Poetry and Film Hack. The epic verse novel, The Half God of Rainfall, opens as a play in New York this summer and the third edition, edition of the O5 Fest opens at the Barbican in September. A festival he founded, curated and hosts with a focus on poetry, but centering on written or spoken word and extending to music, theatre and film, all about demystifying the creative process. Inuit considers it to be a great honour to be recognised by UAL today and on pursuing his passions, the piece of advice that has struck with Inua is to this day, to thine own self be true. I'm delighted to ask the Chancellor to confer the Honorary Doctorate of University of the Arts London on Inua Allen's MBA. Um, the last university I applied to was Goldsmiths University to study a master's in English literature in 2008. Um, I'd lived in the UK since, 2000, since 1996 at the time, since I was 12 years old. And because of my immigration case was still pending, by home office rules, I was classed as an international student, a status that priced me out of education. It tripled the school fees which meant that I could not afford to go to university. I spoke with the staff, explained my, my predicament, that I was in limbo, but there was nothing that they could do. Rules were rules, they said. So I had to turn the offer down. Days later, the course lecturer reached out to explain that he taught my work on the course. Um, I'd been writing and performing poetry for years, and some of that work had crept into academic circles. The lecturer explained that if I had made it onto the course, I may have had to write an essay about my own work for him to mark, <laughs> which would have made a mockery of his classroom. So he advised me not to be too down about the outcome. Years before, I only turned to writing because I could not um, afford art materials. Pens were cheaper than paint. I'd write out the pictures in my head. And before applying to Goldsmiths to study creative writing, I applied to UAL, to this university, to study graphic design. Um, I showed my portfolio at the interview, and again, I was accepted. 
and again, my immigration rules priced me out of education. International student status, I could not afford to go. However, because I am my father's son, because my mother taught me the importance and the value of education, because I am Nigerian, so naturally enterprising, and because Nigerian no de carry last, I worked around these hurdles. Um, I befriended groups of students from Goldsmiths and University of the Arts London who would sneak me into lectures in both institutions. I'd pretend to be one of them, taking notes by day and researching by night, applying them to the works I was making, some of which have been mentioned tonight. Um, so today means more than you can imagine. A recognition from a university I could not afford to attend, an honorary doctorate, no less, and I didn't have to pay a penny. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is a gift above asking, one I could not have imagined. And though I thrived without full higher education, I understand what I didn't experience, shared learning, um, a body of students growing, nourishing, and inspiring each other. Essentially a sense of community of artists. It is still a hole in me which perhaps this award may some way fill. I never seek to be political. I am not an activist, but politics always finds me. And in wanting to learn, I find myself in the jaws of harsh anti-immigrant policies. As global, as global migration intensifies with climate changing, in increasingly hostile environments, should the wind rush other immigrants across treacherous waters to arrive at our shores? Should they show a passion for learning? My plea to the educators here is simple. Bend the rules when you can. Break the rules if you will. But let them learn. Let us learn. I'd like to thank my family a partner for supporting my artistic pursuits despite the difficult hurdles, my oldest friend Jack Prudo, who was there from the start, Stella Odunlami for building with me, and to the fac faculty here, um, thank you for this, for the everything this is. Thank you. Thank you.